All right, folks, I was asked again to show how I unload my IBC totes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and admit to you, I have some of these IBC totes. It's got wooden pallets on the bottom. These are not that good to do this kind of maneuver in because what happens is you break this board off. But I have an endless supply of pallets. So if I break one off, I've got other pallets here that I can take the board off and put the board back on it. I'll put a new pallet underneath it. It's just screwed on the corner. So I have an unlimited supply of pallets. So I don't worry about tearing this off. But what I do is, let me make sure the camera's going to show this. What I do is, I set this IBC tote in my trailer and I leave about a four inch overhang right here. And I'll take my tips of my forks and put under here and flip it. And when it lands in the trailer, if I'm carrying two loads, I'll push, while it was on the side, I'll push the IBC totes up, the first one up in the trailer. And then I'll stick my forks underneath it and pick it up and dump it. Then I go get another IBC tote, do the same thing and push the wood and flip it. And on the second one, you might have five or ten pieces of wood that falls out, but that's better than lo loading the whole trailer by hand. So let me see, can I uh, get this camera right? And let me see, can I flip it? And don't make me look like this is the first time I've done it. Two pieces of wood. But that's how I unload my IBC totes. It's easy on me. It's quicker. Especially if I got somebody to just call and I've got plans of an hour or two and they need a load and they're close to me. I can bring my tractor down here and load this and gone in five minutes. So, and I even talked to my wife, we got a lot of empty IBC totes around here. And what we may do is, we got a little time to kill. We may take some of my empty ones and go down in a bunker and uh, I throw it off, let her stack it and, and reload some of these empty IBC totes that when we do get in a hurry, I've got about I think I had about 75 IBC totes, and the only thing I got about 30, 35 left is full to sell. So we need to uh, start replenishing them. That way, I mean, it's handling the wood twice, and I know what people are going to say, man, that's a lot of time. But if you got a little time to kill, and you can reload your IBC totes up with uh, seasoned wood, to me, that's better to be prepared then somebody call and like on a Friday afternoon, I, I have a lot of people call four or five o'clock on a Friday afternoon. Hey, do you, do you sell firewood? Yes, ma'am. We'd like to get a load. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it to you tomorrow. Oh no, we have a party tonight. We need a fire pit going. 
uh, did you just think of having this party? No, we've been planning it all week, and you didn't think to call me for the last minute. I, you know, my wife likes to go out and eat on Friday night. We worked hard all week. We like to go get a good meal and relax and have a good time too. And a lot of them's understanding, but you know, this way, if that happens, I can take the IBC tote, load it up in five minutes. They generally 20 minutes from me. We can, I can go down there, dump it, be back. Time to pick my wife out and, and go have a great meal and have a good drink. So that's how we like to do it. I know that's handling the wood twice, but if you got a little time to kill, it saves you a little time down the road. So that's, that's just a helpful hint that we do and we like to do if we're able and we have a little time to kill. We've got to deliver this wood I've got another one I got to deliver tomorrow. And we need to make some bundle bags. We may do that today and make a video of it. I'm probably going to use my can and put them in bags and not the new wrapper by Wolf Ridge. Let me flip it around. I got it right here and I'll show it to you. I've got it sitting here. We wrapped some the other day get this out of the way and what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna we're gonna make that our summertime bundler that way the sun don't kill and destroy the bags you can wrap that up and a lot of people say well that's gonna kill that wrap too well it doesn't kill it as bad and i have another wrap that i've used in years and years you can get these these wraps and thicker and I, I have some of the thickest you can buy and it doesn't uh, melt disintegrate like the others do so we're probably gonna do this I, my uh, intention was when we bag them wood we're not bagging wood we split wood and we get little tiny pieces like this piece here let's put it in that and then we get a, a bundle we wrap it up and sell it as starter wood but I had a gentleman come got some pine straw from me yesterday. He had a drone and he flew my wood yard far. He flew it and sent it to me. He told me I can use it. So we're gonna put that on the end of this uh, video and show you how big my wood yard is right here. And I hope you enjoy it. Hope you have a great day. It's Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. Uh, my wife is gonna fix to join me down here. Uh, I didn't go deer hunting this morning. I got a lot of work we got to do. We got some deliveries to make. So y'all take care. Y'all check on your friend and your family. Because again, you're not promised to all. Y'all have a great weekend, folks. I hope it's blessed. And from Rosie, she just sniffed everything in the wood yard. Y'all have a great weekend. Y'all be careful. Take care of one another. This is Rake Outdoors.